Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the old school 60s style farming series here with the Grant crew. Grant is on a lovely vacation to Tahiti because, you know, he just loves to take breaks when things are actually getting tough around the farm. We got to start breaking into corn. I just went down to Tractor Supply to pick up a couple fasteners that we needed to do for uh, some work on the Kilbro wagons. I know Happy and Nate are currently working on the farm right now, getting ready to start going into the fields. I'm going to meet up with them. I did go and grab the Mustang out of storage. I just kind of wanted to cruise around with it. The El Camino is just sitting in the shop to keep less miles off it. I don't know. Hello. That was not my fault. I'm walking here. Well, boys, so, we're technically ready to go. Uh, what do we all have? Because I got the fasteners for the Kilbro wagons uh, from Tractor Supply. I did meet a guy there. He had a Model A that he wanted this. He's trying to sell. It's rusted. It's sitting in the bushes. I've done, I've done, I ain't going to start. But if we pieced it together, it'd make a good auger tractor. So if we needed to use the 4020 for something, we'd have an open tractor spot. But uh, if anything, I think we're going to start farthest away from the farm. That's probably the best corn that we got right now. Uh, it's at least the driest that it is over there. So let's move the operation yeah. over to those plots. 102, 101. Knock that out. Start working our way back. Well, hold up. The corn is a little bit wet. So are the beans. Do you want to go take a look at that tractor you were talking about earlier and then come back after? the beans have a little bit more time to dry out yeah probably would not be a bad idea this is it yeah it should be i think he said it's towards the back it's kind of in the tree line i don't necessarily up oh, i think that's is that it or is that a bush nope that, Wait, that's the tractor that... holy cow he oh, wasn't dang. he that was is... not lying when he said that it was it was a little rusty that is really bad this that's tractor's not a little. like what 20 25 years old yeah i don't think this thing saw shelter a day in its life well, I hope this is all, I mean, it's probably all not, but I hope it's all just surface rust. For some reason, I doubt that, but, uh... I bet a majority of it is, but that's some stuff down towards the bottom that don't, don't look too good. If I put this thing in neutral, are you able to spin the PTO at all? Uh, put it in neutral, let's see. Yep, it's in neutral now. You it... sure? There's nothing. Okay, that seems reassuring. Yeah, no, there is nothing in that. Um... Uh, I'll go see, because Tony said he'd be here in probably like 20 minutes. He had to run a few more errands in town, so... You think you'd have a problem I... so... if we just tried to pull this thing out? To at least put it out in the open? Probably so, with not. the amount of rust on this thing, it, it better be free, right? We're just... Oh, it's, it's free? He said he, he, he said he only wanted like 100 bucks for it. Can we talk about how good this John Deere paint is on the side? Though we're just yeah, how is that still there? There. that's what I'm saying <laughs> this though. Like, be the best painted stickers ever. Better he just reapplied the stickers and called it good. <laughs> yeah, maybe he, he patinaed I... it. Antique. You look antique. I am antique. All right, you drop me off the side of a cliff and I'll shatter like a fine china plate. Can we go try that right now? No. All right, Nate, you already took the uh, the fun out of making this hook up, but we got the tractor at least strapped down so we could kind of pull it out. If there's anything I've learned from my brother, I think it's, well, let's just get that can of ether and let's just pull start and we'll get this thing going. You ready? I'm getting there. I mean, it's better than a doornail, so it's not going to do anything. Just kind of keep pulling it and I'll see what I can do. Boom! Holy crap. Hey, no probably way. the clutch did work. Yeah, it no doesn't sound way. too good, though. Did you guys even check to see if it had any diesel in it? I don't think it really does. Well, I don't want to shut it, it off now. <laughs> Somebody fill it up. Just siphon diesel out of there, out of the truck. It'll be fine. I'm sure it's the same. Oh, okay, and it killed. All right, well, well that's unfortunate. So much for that. Well, at least it's out, so we can kind of inspect it a little bit better. Hold on, when you got on it, were you able to turn the wheel? It was pretty uh, tight, but once we gave it the yank and kind of got it loose, it broke it up a little bit, so. Okay, so we might need some diesel, because what we might need to do to get it home is have somebody ride on the back of it and turn the wheel. I can do that. Gotta well, do it just, the old Let's just wait way. until we get Tony here, we'll get everything bought, and then we'll figure out our ride home. How about that? Okay, Tony, thank you, sir. We'll see what we can do with this. If you guys just want to pull me home, I'll sit back here and I'll guide it, and then we'll work on it in the shop. Well, we got it started. I wouldn't go anything over probably 15. Punch it? No. No, don't punch Do you not it. see the dry rod on the side of the sires? I heard punch it. <laughs> uh oh, and he's dead. Okay, just kind of uh, like try and keep it relatively reasonable. This thing's already creaking and groaning, kind of like my ex-wife. Right. Hold on, we got this. Right. We got this, boy. Right. What are you doing? Hey, right. gotta warm the tires. Why? Okay, uh, I think probably the best place for to set this is gonna be in the main shop on the left, because that'll probably be where I'll be able to work on it the best. Oh. 
Let's see, we didn't even check if this thing actually could move. Holy cow, we have life. Did you even check the oil? No. Did we check anything before no. randomly turning it on? No. No. Oh, oh, it killed. Okay. Right there it goes. Yep, At least that's... it's under shelter this time. Probably the first time it's seen a roof since the day it came out of the factory. Okay, so I am going to kind of try and piece apart this little two-cycle putt-putt. Whatever the heck we're going to have to do with this Model A. And hopefully it's not as bad as... I mean, if we can get this thing like it already was running, that makes me have hope. Let's try this new slight product by Pateniers. Take a little bit of WD-40. Spray up all of our little joints here. Just kind of all of the bolts. I just want to loosen everything up so I can take this apart and see what I have to work with. Use our pressure washer. See if I can stretch the hose long enough to get back here. Might be able to clean it just enough. Clean it off. So we moved the Model A over to the workbench here. I took apart the uh, fuel system itself. The tank doesn't have a hole in it, but the inside of the tank's all rusted out. We'll strap down some sort of an alternative fuel line system so we can have running clean fuel through this. Uh, I'll probably change the fluids, get things relatively wrapped up. I aired up the tires the best I could, and it's, it's going to run, but it's going to run pretty rough. So with our uh, fuel lines completely rerouted up to a jerry can sitting on the front edge of the hood, uh, we're probably about mm, six, seven gallons short of where we actually would have for capacity, so we're going to have to watch that. Also watch how it doesn't fall over. I don't know how well this is going to work. This is either going to all fall apart or it's going to be able to work flawlessly and we're not going to judge it why so let's kind of make sure this thing's in neutral and give her a little bit of a start and see if she kicks over okay i will take that see what happens when we put it in gear i mean it works it has life that's good enough for me you boys got the copy on the cb over there mm -hmm. Okay, tractor has been up and running. Basically made it borderline makeshift work. It should be set enough to at least run the auger, but if it blows up while we're doing that, we're out a hundred bucks. But it's good enough if we need to use it for something. I say I'll help you guys start trucking stuff over here in a little bit. Oh, there you are. All right, let's go, Happy. I'll meet you All guys right. over there in a little bit. What do you want me to bring? Because I'm just going to get this at least set up and hooked up to the auger. And it, sh it should turn over on the first start. You don't need to worry about any of that. I just don't know how long it's going to last. If you're coming up here, just bring the next set of wagons. All right, I'll do that. Let's get this auger lined up, and I'll be on my way. Hook that up, and we should be set enough. We are rolling. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Even though this song didn't exist back in these days. Uh, have you boys got started on the headlands yet? Or are we just waiting for me? We were waiting for you. I say go on and start. I'm ready. I'm already here. I'm going to do what every intelligent farmer should do and follow directly behind the spreader of the combine while it's shooting out corn, rocks, and whatever else. I'm kind of surprised that Grant actually hasn't wanted us to tear out this little uh, pathway in between these two fields and just connect them. Uh, I think he wants to keep them separate for right now because he may want to plant that side of beans and that and this side of corn and so on and so forth. I know we put anhydrous down on this, but I think we're going to have to probably put beans in this ground next year because this is the second time this has been corn, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. What do we got looking at for at least yield on average? What would we say we got? I have no clue. All I know is I'm almost trying to headlands, and these usually can be either the best or the worst. I'll just fold around to you. And I would say that's probably good. This one might be a little harder for me to see, so you'll kind of have to judge on how full it is or where I'm at. I can't see his my depth perception is not as good as it used to be. Watch out for Nate. He's driving a little crazy. Uh, yep, I, I, I'm I'll just scooch over a little bit. Okay, I'm empty. All right, I'll flip back around. Nate, you want to put the pipe out? Yep, just sitting here fighting with this wind damage. Same thing with Nate, man. My depth perception's terrible. You'll kind of have to keep me in line. I'm going to hang her right here. I'll hang a couple rows over the edge just so we can keep it straight. All right, we're full on that. Do you guys want me to just keep it here and then run the Alice, or do you just want me to take this one back to the farm? Uh, Probably take it back to the farm. We can unload into those other gravity wagons while you're gone. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, if I'm we need to. I'm going to across into the field at least. 
But yep. I will say with how terrible this corner is yielding, I doubt we're going to need it. Well, the Allen's I mean, been moved yielding. into the middle of the field, so right. wherever you need to go, it'll be right here. So we will leave the Alice there. They're going to keep on trucking that, and I'm going to truck this back to the farm and see how well my fix with the bottle A is. I hope it's not going to be anything uh, that wasn't worth my time. I put quite a bit of uh, jerry rigging into getting that Model A up and running. Just going to kind of keep chugging along right back here. The boys are still cooking away, and we'll see you guys back at the farm. I know these things are pretty much bulletproof, and I probably should have gotten that a little bit. Maybe turned it out a little bit further. That's I can't get nearly as close as I wanted to, but we'll see whether or not I'm able to make this work. Whatever you do, Model A, please do not let me down now. We are dumping. Pop up on this, just throttle it up, and help it out. Well, we got the first cart unloaded, and everything seems to be working just fine, so I'm going to hope that this back cart does the same, and throttle it up, and let's see what we can do. Oh, that smoke is not looking good! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! no. Completely blew out the seals! It's got oil all over this. Oil all over the PT. Dang it! Ugh. Why can anything never just go right for five minutes? I swear, five minutes on this farm, and something has to break, blow up, or go in the wrong direction. <sighs> well, that's not what I wanted to have happen today, but we'll just get the Model A pulled back from the action. Let's get you detached. We'll just tug you out of the way. I mean, Model A's, it's a good tractor, but you're gonna sit there and tell me that we physically can't even use this thing for five minutes. I'm gonna need to tow this thing everywhere it needs to go anyway, so we'll just leave that there. Set a piece of cardboard underneath of it so that way it doesn't get all that oil on our floor. About 25 minutes later, we are finally now dumping again. Ugh. You want me to do you a favor and take over doing some wagons right now? Please, I need to have less of um, high blood pressure events going on right now. I'm just hitting the maintenance road now, so I'll see you guys here in about two minutes. Are you in the... Oh, yep, okay, I see you. I'll try and weave my way through here without taking out the corn. All right. right, how you doing? I'm doing great. Did you, you by chance bring me a sandwich or something? I could go get you one. I just have to take the truck back. <laughs> you pretty much would be getting that fresh oil sandwich. Comes on uh, yeah, sourdough I don't want bread. That. You want that? I, I mean, I could get you nah. a whole load of that. We got a lot of that back at the farm. I'm good. I'm good. I'll survive. All right. All right, we're empty. We are rolling. Is there any particular order that you kind of want me to start on, like towards the far side, or happy? Do you want to just kind of take this little back and forth spot that you guys got going right now? Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can go wherever you want. I was kind of start on the uh, far side here. See if I can fit this all in one one pass. I should be able to, but I've been wrong before, and there's probably a good chance I'll be wrong again. So are we just gonna leave the harvesters out here in the field today, or are we gonna take them back home too? Um, let's let's at least move them back to the next field, since I think our next corn corn field isn't it plot 94 right around the house. Yeah, it is. So in theory, we could just take it back to the to the house. Yeah, yeah. Let's just take a bit. Mm. Let's put it back. Or, let's put it back on the hay ground on the backside, where it's literally nestled in between all of our stuff. No, nah, if right. we're going that far, just take it on back to the house at that point. All right. And we are empty. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for this 60 series episode, and we're gonna head into town and get something to eat. So thank you guys for watching this one, and we'll see you on the next one.